Hey guys, welcome back to Cards and Comics, and today's the big day. I got my um, check out my cards order from February this year. It's finally arrived. It came! It finally came! <laughs> the big one. And I can share with you the cards I've got. So I'm going to open it up and uh, share with you guys what I got. And hopefully um, you guys have fun. I'm going to assume that the cards inside are not going to be uh, separated by marble versus hockey. So it's probably going to be a giant mixed bag. So hopefully you can enjoy it. Um, you know, if you're not into hockey or marble, I don't know how to fix this. Uh, I'll probably do kind of a recap at the end with hockey and and Marvel separated, so you can check out the end maybe and uh, see what I got. But yeah, um, we're gonna just open it up and see what we got. All right, we are back, and I've got the package open. We got the cards ready to be displayed. I got my first kind of funny thing to look at is expedite. Yeah. So six months later, and you get an expedite order. <laughs> Let me check out my cards. Oh well, enough bitterness. Everything is done. So here is box one. So I got two big boxes. We'll see. Maybe they were cool and separated everything into the two boxes by genre, but I doubt it. So we'll see what we got. It looks like they pack things well, which is great, because I've heard a lot of horror stories on how they pack things. All right, so let's see what we got. First card up. Well, maybe not. Ah, they're in tape together. Great, more tape. Okay, first up is a Spider-Man. So this looks like... Is that amazing Spider-Man number nine i believe um so this is like a coin so these are all from the year 1964. so you got two pennies and a dime so from amazing spider-man number nine it's kind of like a coin booklet thing um so yeah this came out of Fleur ultra spider-man there you go these are pretty rare i'm not sure these are numbered um they were numbered they'd be on the back so there you go First card is kind of an interesting one. All right, next up. So here is this whole bag full of PMGs, it looks like. And I don't like that they put uh, some of the cards together, but at least they're sleeves. So here's the first PMG. It is Vulture, and it's from the um, Spider-Man Flare Ultra set. And this is the red, and Let's see what the reds are numbered out of. So this is 63 of 99. So the reds are out of 99. So there you go. The first PMG. And it is a vulture red. Next up, ooh, it's a good one. It is number 89 and 99. And it is the Spider Gwen red. There you go. PMG red. Very cool. Next up. Mary Jane Watson, PMG Red, out of Fuller Ultra Spider-Man. This is numbered 83 of 99. And hold on. One second. Oh, oh, oh. So it looks like I'm missing a little bit of foil on that one, which is a bummer. Um, these cards are very condition sensitive, so. So there's the reds, and so this is um, bronze. So this is out of Fleur Ultra 2017 Spider-Man. Out of 199, so this is 90 of 199, so this is Shocker. Again, 199, so this is a PMG, bronze. Here's a cool one. This is the Green Goblin. Again, PMG Bronze, numbered out of 199. So this is 43 of 199. 
the funny thing about these kind of cards is like you know you can't get the one on one numbered um, card. All right, next up, another PMG, and this is. Yeah, this is, you know, again, when I will complain about the some cards, you know, this is like an example where the artwork really doesn't help. So this is like a cartoony version of the artwork, which I don't like as much. So this is Nova, bronze PMG number 50, sorry, 5 out of 199. So I got a lot of these bronze PMGs. I've got a lot of... Um, PMGs in general from both this set and the um, X Men for Ultra Set. So, um, let's see both. And uh, so all these are Fleur Ultra Spider Man. All right, next up. Got a Kingpin, Bronze, out of 199. You've got Mysterio. Bronze out of 199, number 36. It's beautiful. Though, you know, even though these are the kind of the common ones, they still look really good. Captain America, bronze PMG out of 199. Here's one that everyone's going to love, and this is the Miles Morales Spider Man PMG. And yeah, this is number 50. This is the last card this set. Um, so, very cool card. And here is Vulture. So, those are all out of 199. So, looks like the PMGs are in the house for us. So, it looks like we are sticking with the Marvel cards at the beginning of this video. It's cool. All right, so next up is more bronze goodness. So this is Spider Gwen. And so you saw I've got a red Spider Gwen as well. So there you go. There's the two different PMGs. There's a red and a bronze. So 99 and 199. Next up is the Punisher. Here is a very relevant PMG. Here is Black Widow, Bronze. Here is Vulture again. So I'm gonna look, I think this is maybe, yep, the second Vulture. So yes, multiple Vulture, Bronze PMGs. Oh, back to the red. I really think this card looks really awesome in the red. This is. Iron Man red numbered out of 99. This is 16 and 99. So this is again 2017 Fuller Ultra Spider Man red PMG Spider or uh, Iron Man. Here is Jackal red. I pulled out the paper on the back so you can see the full back. So this is what the backs look like. This one is 76 out of 99. And uh, yeah, just these are really beautiful cards. I, I understand why everyone loves the PMG. So no argument for me on why they're cool. And uh, we'll go on to the next. So when I, I think I said in a video once or something, I had a, a lot of PMGs coming. No, this is what I meant. I have a lot of these PMGs uh, coming. I have more coming from the X-Men, so. All right, next up. So I believe this is starting the X-Men PMGs. So these are bronze. And so just to give you an idea of the difference. So like here is Flare Ultra Spider-Man and this is Flare Ultra X-Men. There you go. Bronze and they're still at a 199, so. Pretty similar, they just have a little bit of a different look. They got this logo here. Um, yeah, really cool cards. And, you know, they're thick. I think, you know, one thing that I thought about the 
PMGs coming out of this year's Fleur Metal um, or Skybox Metal X Men was they weren't thick and they didn't have this thicker border you can see or this thicker cardboard. And these cards are very substantial. They, they're very cool um, in terms of just you know the, the style. So we got our first bronze X Men. It's Jubilee. Now I do so I traded for this entire set on. Um, X-Men. So I think I have all 50 of the PMGs for um, for um, the Fuller Ultra X-Men set. So we'll, we'll check that out to see if I have all of them. Um, but I should. Here's Magneto. Again, out of 199. Uh, Fuller Ultra X-Men. So this is 2018. Sentinels. Pull the paper out of this one so you can kind of see what it looks like on the back. So this is Dr. Nemesis. It looks a lot like Star-Lord. So there's the number in there. Whereas before, the Spider-Man was here and now these are up here. But somewhat similar. This is the back of a... Oop. Let's see if I can find one that actually doesn't have the paper in it. Uh, we'll just take the paper out. How about that? To show you the back of an actual Floor Ultra Spider-Man. And uh, give you an idea of what the cards actually look like. So here is the back of two cards. Somewhat similar. A little different design. But, you know, you can tell like they, they did not change the design too much between the two cards. You can see outside the holder how much more shiny those cards really are um, when they're outside the holder. So I'm just putting that Walter back in the holder. And I do think there's going to be a lot of people putting sets like this together. I just feel like that they're just too cool of a card for. And I'm not saying they're common, but they're, you know, 199 you can actually put a set together. So there's that one again, sorry. And then, last but not least, Psylocke, which is an awesome card. So there you go. And then here's another card that is a one-of-one one sketch card. I'll get it out of here. And this came out of, I think, Far From Home. Yep, Far From Home. So it's a sketch card of Green Goblin. And I think it's a really nice sketch card. Um, and from Andre Osh. So 101 Marvel. Far From Home sketch. So that's the first sketch card that we have. All right. Next up. This is where they kind of start blending the two. So here's a Allure Quinn Hughes. Rookie Auto Die Cut. And... These are never out of 349. All right, we'll see if we get more hockey. Oh, it looks like more PMG, so I'm hoping we get through and do mostly the Marvel stuff right off the bat. All right, more bronze. Like I said, I think I have all 50 of these. So here is the step for cuckoos. And this is where you can see some, kind of some of the sloppiness of these cards. So you can see the foiling kind of went down there. Um, yeah, I don't know the storyline that those are in, those characters are in. I guess it was, um, I would assume it was a unique storyline that maybe they appeared for a little bit. I, I've never heard of them in any other continuity. Uh, it's Kitty Pride. Here's a character that people are really talking about today. It's Magic. I think she's going to be involved heavily in maybe some future Marvel plans. Um, very cool character. Here's Alchemy. And again, more of a cartoony type photo. So I'm not as, you know, or drawing, I'm not as cool with that design but 
Phoenix too. So I, I always love the original design of Phoenix and like Phoenix two or I think there's a guy Phoenix. Yeah, I, I'm just not as into that um, as the original Rachel Summers uh, Phoenix. And then for some reason we got a one off here and it's blink. And it'd be cool if this card was 182. But it's not. It's 87. But yeah, blink would have been fun if it was uh, 182, but it's not. I'm sure whoever's got the 182 can you know, do an eBay 101. So you have blink. All right. So we're halfway through box one. And it was just going to be a long video. So, um, you know, I'll do a recap at the end, but yeah, it's. You know, or just kind of show everything off at the very end. Yeah, it's a lot of cards. But for me, it's a lot of fun. I know some people, you know, they don't like Marvel, so it's it's fine. Um, but yeah, I think for me, um, you know, these cards are very nostalgic. And, you know, and they're, I just think PMGs are cool, man. Everyone kind of likes PMGs. Um, you know, I think it's... I mean, Definitely some of the cooler sets from the insert type sets for the 90s. So there's Warlock. These are all bronze. There's Puck. Puck was on Alpha Flight originally. There's Iceman. And again, I just don't like that photo of him. He's got so many cooler photos that they chose that. Here's Blindfold. <laughs> and again, the creativity of the name of the characters. Um, is sometimes very low. This is an example of that. All right. Cyclops in one of his many, many different uniforms. Um, they keep redesigning him over and over. I just think it's funny. Um, I just, I like the blue original uniform, but you know, there you go. And here is Cannonball. There you go. All bronze. I do have some other colors, so I just don't want it to seem like it's all, all one thing. Okay. So it looks like here is some hockey, so I'll set that aside to do the hockey all at once. More hockey. All right. Hockey, but here's some, looks like some PMGs. So I'll set the hockey aside again. We'll try to do the Marvel stuff all at once that way. For people who don't like the crossover, just focus on the Marvel stuff right now. And I'm going to split the video up into the two different boxes. So I'll, after I get done with this box, I will end it and uh, we'll have a part two because you know this is just a lot for me as well to go through. Um, here's a really cool, uh, this is out of Flare Ultra Spider-Man. It's the EX Century um, inserts. And these are the kind of the red, you know, you know the see-through acetate cars. And this one's numbered out of 20, or 28, sorry, 21 of 28. Pretty rare. And this is uh, Spider-Girl. I think the red really works with her. And uh, so I really uh, love that one. And here is a some new color. So this is definitely one of my favorite cards right here. So it's the Spider Girl Blue. Uh, the blues are just so striking. Uh, it's somewhere out of 49. I don't think I have any greens. I had a green Hulk that I actually had sent to me last time when I did an order. And I sold it on eBay for a lot of money. So I've, I've had a few greens. But here's a blue Spider Girl and it's just super super nice the blues are really striking out of the floor, floor ultra uh here is scarlet spider red and again the red really works with any spider first character and again the reds are numbered out of 99. here is the spider girl in red and here's another thing that's interesting i had two blue spider girls so um it's you know it's just how things work. A lot of Spider Girl, two blues, a red, um, and I don't think I had a Spider Girl. And then obviously this 
with a spider girl and I don't think I know I did not have another red so um yeah <laughs> a lot of spider girl um cards right off the bat two blues a red and then the red ex 2000 acetate so moving on more blue in this one which is great and then hopefully um you know we can get through yeah all the pmgs because i got more than pmgs in here too so um was heavily focused on pmgs but it's not the only thing now i love this photo so this is one of my favorite again green goblin blue those blues just really really pop um blue cage blue and again the blues are numbered out of 49. Ooh, here's a good one here's dagger so yeah just a really 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 cool card and i have two of them so i got a lot of doubles that's very interesting i mean out of especially out of a card that's around a 49 to get you know doubles but that's just sort of, sort of like how it goes when you're opening packs but two daggers and both blue and then a shocker blue and i I had a bronze shocker as well. And then a blue vulture. So again, you saw where I've got the bronze vultures. Now there is the blue vulture. Next up, iron fist blue. KMG. Numbered out of 49. So yeah, I've... <laughs> it kind of amazes me I had this many. And, and, you know, these were all sitting at, you know, check out my cards for um, four years. Because <laughs> this set came out in 17. These are all blue. So we got Kingpin. Numbered out of 49. Electro. I never liked that photo of Electro. He just, I mean, he looks kind of demonic there, but, you know, I don't know. I just, not the what I think of him when I think of that photo. Um, interesting Spider Man 2099. It's a really cool character. I think they're going to reboot him and include him in more stuff in the, in the, in the Spider Verse in the future. Here's Sil Silver Sable. Really pretty. Really cool photo they used for that, and then oh, really cool art, and then Nick Fury Jr. All right, so that ends it, and um, so I'll do a quick recap on just total count. So here's the blue PMGs we've got, and so I got one red EX. And then I've got one coin card from Flare Ultra X. And then I've got seven red PMGs, which are all numbered on 99. So I got seven red, but then blue. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I got 14 blue PMGs out of. Um, out of, um, there's 50 in the set. So that's a, that's a quite a high, even though I do have a double, got one double, I believe, um, which is Spider Girl. Um, whoever the sticky guy is back here, that's a shocker. Uh, two daggers, I got two doubles out of all those blue PMGs, but yeah, it's a lot of blue PMGs. Um, for bronze, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, with one double. So I've got actually more blues than bronze, which doesn't make a lot of sense. And then we talk about the Ultra X-Men. You know, I should have 
eventually 50. And so far we found two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 of the 50 so far. So there you go. Um, and then we'll do hockey in a separate video. But box one, Marvel is complete. And uh, yeah, my 155 card order box one is done. We're saving the hockey for the end of the second video. And oh, forgot almost the one, the one sketch card, which is a very good one. All right, see you guys next time. Uh, and stay tuned for part two.